Good to go. Hey, Prehistoric Pets fans. We got another clutch here today. What was the breeding on this one, Tim? It was a lavender tiger to a purple sunfire. A lav tiger to a purple sun. So we should get some albino sun tigers and according to our theory about lavs and purples, which we've seen over and over again, we should only get lavenders and purples in this clutch. So uh, let's dig in and see how it goes. Yeah. Pretty small clutch. She's Wait. a tiny female. She only weighed 14 pounds. 14 pounds? No dwarf in her? No dwarf. Females don't have to be too big if they're raised slowly and, and done right. This guy he's almost ready to come out of the egg. Why is he? Why is he pink? That's a uh, gene. Yeah, he's an albino. And he's a lot of the albinos. Go lab. That's a purple. Oh, lab. Lavender oh, sun tiger. That's a they're all gonna have. They're all gonna have some blood because there's veins that feed the babies inside. What we're doing is opening these eggs up. Because since the one hatched, we know that the rest of them are ready to go. You can see that the eggs are starting to shrivel and dimple in. And that means that they're getting ready to hatch. So we open up each egg and then, we, and then the babies will start breathing air. And that triggers them to absorb their yolk sac over the next uh, day or two. Because they still have a big umbilical cord and a yolk sac. There's a loud sunfire. It's a nice purple sun. I still like the purple suns. And uh, once they absorb their yolk sac, they'll come out on all by themselves in a day or two. We'll have bouncing new babies. Bouncing. Oh, they bounce. <laughs> ball pythons are the bounciest. You've never seen those bouncy balls? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get it? Uh, purple sun tiger. Is it? Yeah. Lavender sun there. I'm not missing on the sunfire over here. Should have half of the clutch should be sunfires. You guys all know what that means, right? Yeah. I think this one's another purple sun tiger. It might just be a purple tiger. Doing pretty good. If you guys remember your high school biology, you can predict the outcome of the babies, more or less by using Punnett squares. So in this clutch we should have lavender albinos, purple albinos, purple sunfires, lavender sunfires, uh, lavender sun tigers, and purple sun tigers. Did I miss anything? Mm -hmm. Wow, that is a really pretty, I don't know if you guys can see it, but boy that is a really nice dark purple sun. That is a really dark one. So far, everything's loud and purple. I'm hitting sunfire on like everything. That's good. Uh, uh, loud sun tiger. Well, you just stack the sunfire half babies on this side. No white face? No. No, no white face. When I was talking about theory, it's actually something that we've proven time and time again. But basically, the Clark strain albino, the original one, was a purple face. Mm. Or, I'm sorry, it was a lavender phase. And if that hadn't happened, we wouldn't have three phases. The reason being is there are two strains of albino within the Clark strain, white and purple. And when they cross, they're allelic or they're compatible and they make a lavender. So breeding white to white will give you all whites. Breeding purple to purple will give you all purples. Breed a white to a purple, you get all labs. Breed two labs together, you get all three color phases. Is that the top of the egg? That's a set, that's a pair of twins. Twins? There's another one below. Oh, freaky. Yeah, you can see how much smaller they are. See how tiny they are? That's pretty cool. That doesn't happen every day. Twins, yeah. Is there? Both purple sunfires. I think. I can't see the other one. Maybe they're identical. <laughs> Alright, well that's it. Cute little clutch from a nice little female. Did you guys all have fun? Yeah. All right, very cool. Come back in a couple days and you'll get to see the babies so all out of the eggs. the eggs for a little bit longer? Just oh, about two days there and it's peeking out. Right <laughs> yeah. Just a, a day or two wow. longer while they absorb yeah. their yolk sac and then they'll start yeah. coming out. The one that opened up first, he's yeah. probably going to be ready a little sooner because yeah. he's been breathing all day long. Look at this guy peeking out, cute little twins saying, hey guys. We 
You see him? Look how tiny he is. Mm. Cute little guy. All right, everybody. Hope you had fun. We'll see you next time. Actually, that's a really small age. <laughs>